There he is. Hello. Wait, am I on? Why am I? Okay, hold on here. Uh, there. Oh. <laughs> Hi, oh David. My. Oh my God, it's been like 356 years. <laughs> I, I know, right? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing okay. Doing okay. <laughs> you look great. Oh, thank you. As same as you. You haven't, you haven't changed. So. Look at it's you. It's all the face work. <laughs> Atta boy. <laughs> now uh, I look like Catherine Hepburn when I'm old. Okay. With that said, what's your favorite tree? <laughs> An oak. <laughs> <laughs> When I think of San Francisco State, uh -huh. uh, one of the, there are a few faces that pop into my head and yours is like right there. It's just, uh -huh. I always think Ray Santos, you are one of the most talented, <laughs> incredible actors. I remember right after college, it seemed like, boom, you got right on that Broadway <laughs> stage. Oh, that was, that was luck lucky i was very lucky for that to, to get into that you know yeah. uh yeah only because i've never had i not seen that little blurb on the examiner i i, I would not have gone to the to the uh to that audition so what was yeah it? So, <laughs> when I say lucky, in the san francisco yeah, examiner there was a blurb yeah it was this big and I can't find it. I was in this Marie Kondo tidying up phase and I was looking all over for it, but I couldn't find it. But it, it just said, um, looking for Asian American actors and actresses uh, to be in a, to an upcoming show on Broadway. They didn't, they, they didn't mention what, what, what show it's for. So yeah, that's, that's, that's how that started. And that was like in two, three years uh before i actually found out i got you know i got it but yeah it, it, it it's been a process yeah uh with that but thank you for thinking of me when you think of san francisco state well you, you know, know i mean but, uh, i mean going back to san francisco state <laughs> that's where we met that's where we yes. were in the, the drama group um Musical theater. <laughs> what theater group? I know. Yeah, theater they're group. theater group. Yeah, but yeah. Um, Wait, what about the drama? I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear that. No, <laughs> and there was drama. <laughs> but no, yeah. no, that was with yeah. my that was with one of my roommates in the dorms. But we won't go into. That. Okay. Except, well, oh my God, I've never no, heard I, of this. You didn't? I am. No. You, know, you go into Verducci. Not it wasn't Verducci. It was I think Park Place, Mary Ward. I don't know one of those dorms and they right. said what what is your what what do you you know what's your major what do you love to do and I said I love I love drama I love acting and they gave me drama they <laughs> they gave me this real big uh football player who got drunk on weekends and put his fist through bathroom walls walls <laughs> gave him a sand the bathroom. hell I know he like beat up his best friend. I walk and luckily I was gone for the weekends. I would go visit my family. And so I, I got back. They said, what happened to your roommate? And I said, why? And he took me to the restroom. There's this big hole in the wall. <laughs> and then I walked to my, my dorm room and there he is with a big cast on and he's sitting like this. <laughs> but we got along except he started growling at me during finals. So I thought I better move. Wait, really? Like, <laughs> he yes, did, he did the, I Arr. pretended I was asleep and it was like, going, you know, like King Kong. <laughs> and that was not his, his snore. <laughs> no, no, he, you know, I don't know. But, you know, we didn't find out his issues. I had enough of my own. <laughs> so, wow. Uh, Go ahead. I, I know, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah, um, right. I have to, you know, I, I want to go back to San Francisco State because you were in so many amazing shows. You have this voice that's like, you know, one wrote one. I was saying, 
think of a word that I think of Ray, and I don't know why the first word that came to my mind was majestic. I don't know why. Wow. Oh. It was this, you have this magic about you. And I remember, I mean, I remember you in a lot of work, but the one thing that came to my mind was Torch on Trilogy. Yeah. Okay. That was one of my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah, no, I, I, I'm going to just say, you know, the, that is probably one thing that I will not be able to play anywhere else. You know, I'm, I'm gr that I'm grateful to, you know, to, to be able to do that yeah. uh, and stay. But yeah, that was that was that was a, an incredible experience for me. And also my first time in drag. So you know and after that you just went hey i like this <laughs> so what are you saying oh. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah well but, it was such yeah. a good performance i mean and uh, such a it, it was such a powerful pre uh, uh show that particular one yeah mr farstein did an incredible incredible job with that one it's also you know i had a good cast that I can I can work off of, especially with Francine and Jeff, you know, and Fontana. Oh my but, god. So right. it was, yeah, it was an experience. Talk about drama. Uh, <laughs> but it was it was all around positive experience for me. And the first thing I just said when I got the when I found out I got the partner, like, oh my God, there's so many words. Well, <laughs> so many words. You that, know, be, I mean, being the in monologues in that show. <laughs> yeah. How do you do yeah. something like that as an actor? For because we have over a hundred students watching, and and oh, whoa, hello, okay. Yeah, performing um, arts studio West, meet the biz, <laughs> and not live, but you know, Memorex. But um, right. <laughs> how do you, you know, when you get the the script that it's like mostly you? How do you how do you take it? How do I take it? Well, I, I read the script, first of all, and then thank you to Miss Lynn Barbara Mahler, I beat it. So meaning, you know, the whole process of cutting down each sentence and then trying to figure out what my story is just for that one line. You know, I apply that because when, uh, because they worked for me when, it seems like I'm, I'm saying my uh, my resume here, but no, that process helped me out when I got Evita and it was all music, oh. you know? So I did not know how to do, you know, how, how, how to really work around it. And, and being a newbie there, that was like my first year in SF State. So when she taught me about beating the script, she had me had the lyric and on the music and I wrote it on the opposite side of it. And I treated that like a script. And again, I, I, it's set up in different beats. Yeah. So what I, and, and uh, that's where I, I put my why in and you know, why am I saying those lyrics? So I applied that with, uh, with Torch Song because yeah, I would have been a mess because Seriously, I just say, I just say, wow, there's a lot of words in here to memorize. Uh, but yeah, slowly but surely, I had to break it down. And uh, also reading the other characters' lines. You know, I was, yeah, because it used to be for me, it's like bullshit, bullshit, my line, bullshit, bullshit, my line. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it doesn't work that way. Um, and also by doing that, it helped me it helped me great create a good outline for Arnold, right. you know? Uh, so yeah, that, that was a challenge, but it was something new. Yeah. And the most important thing about that was I had to keep myself open for it, you know, especially with, with the, you know, the theme of it, of uh, being a gay man, right. which I haven't really been out at that point to my parents. Right. So, yeah. How did they, when they saw the show, how did they, it, it did, what did they say? 
Well, I told them, hey, mom, it's it's a Tony Ward winning play. It's not a musical. You're not going to see it. And, but it's a gay character. I'm just I'm just letting you know about that. And there are a lot of uh, <laughs> actions that he does that you may not as a Catholic <laughs> Catholic family you may not approve of. But just just know that I'm telling a story. I'm telling a story of what uh, Ari Farstein wanted to share with the audience. So I kind of eased into it with that. Dude. And whether or not they they saw it, but they they said congratulations, but you know, they 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 really did not want to talk about it. But they just said that, you know, she they loved the show and they loved they loved my performance in it. And they, she said, I didn't know you had it in you, which is you know, uh, I, I don't know for all actors, but you need a mom, mother's <laughs> approval. But right. yeah, this one right here needed that at yeah, that right. point to be to to feel valid or to validate myself as to why I picked uh, theater. Right. Yeah. Now you said, and stop me if I'm throwing stuff out, but you said at that time you weren't out to your folks. No. I was not out to my folks. Yeah. Uh, Did that help in any way by doing that show, do you think? It may, okay. It helped me in a way that I was able to embrace the fact that I'm gay. But as far as with my mom, it was still, it, it, it's not because of her, it was my journey. Yeah. You know, we were very religious. We were still going to church every Sunday. And that's where it was tough for me to think, okay, here's a God that I look up to. And yet some of the people are saying, you know, being the way you are is a sin. So it was hard for me to go to church knowing that, that I'm gay, but that's the only way for me to uh, pass or be good in life. Um yeah, I mean, it was heavily, heavily instilled in all of us as far as what homosexuality is mm -hmm. and how it's looked down upon, you know, Catholic church and also a very religious Filipino family. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it's they 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 did what they knew then. And uh, I did not actually come out to them un until I went to New York, where I actually left and there was distance. And so I was able to find my own self and uh, where, I, where I'm actually in a space where I'm happy. Yeah. And it doesn't make sense to sh sh not share my joy and happiness with, with my, you know, by not telling my parents that th it did not make sense for me, but it was a good, I had a good support group here yeah. in new york yeah you know and yeah and I, I i will have to say thank you thank you thank you for steven and steve steve uh -huh. and, and steve Figoli because they they were the very first gay couple you know that i've that i've met and who who i you know were almost the same age you yeah. know and I, I looked up to them and they were Actually, that's what that's what made it easy, also easier for me as far as playing Arnold, because, yeah, Arnold was always looking for that perfect couple yeah. that he doesn't think that he's never going to get, and so, hence Stephen and Steve was kind of like the impetus of what I wanted to convey as far as what Arnold needs, what Arnold wanted, and hopefully a lot of people uh, can can relate to that. Well, uh, I, you know, I'm listening to what you're saying and it's bringing back, when you mentioned Steve and Steve, these are two, uh, two amazing strengths in that department, that, that theater yes. department. And that oh, group yeah. that we had, I mean, it's, and it brought me back to that word that I said at the beginning, the majestic, the, it's something magical about that time that we all went through. Um, yes, and part of it is because it was we had it was a sense of community. Yeah. 
mm. that it was a safe space for all of us to play and to do something that we usually would never do, you know? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, talk about Majestic, Stephen Frigoli's voice. <laughs> oh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, that that yeah. it's, it's just nice that we were able to inspire one another yeah you know well I, I, oh can i go yeah go ahead no go ahead what am i well i wanted to go a little bit off tangent um yeah to thank aaron kate whitcomb uh, also a fabulous uh, talented woman who's the funniest funniest thing ever yeah. uh <laughs> i tell you during well, the pandemic she has uh -huh. kept me alive. Uh, she was one of the people who kept me alive with her humor on Facebook when she would post her videos. And I was, thank God for Aaron Kate. <laughs> okay. Not to say anything, but it was funny because during that time, I promised myself that I would do a Facebook Live every day just to say something, you know? And, and I love the fact that Aaron Kate caught it, and then she first said it, she called me out on it. And yes, I have been looking forward to her, her uh, Facebook Lives ever since, <laughs> you know, because that's the kind, that, that, that one is a great example of someone who's very comfortable in their skin yeah. and be able to convey, even through just media, right. you know, to be funny and you, you, you feel for her. And, and also uh, she had that confidence, always, always. Yes, she did. Some, yeah, right? And um, <laughs> just also, she was my beard as far <laughs> as for, for my fans concerned. Because... And now you have one of your own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, peach fuzz. Just, <laughs> just like peach fuzz, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's there. Sorry, did I just like? No, I love it. Listen, I just go on the ride, <laughs> you know, and I, I just, you know, it's like a, a Disneyland ride. I don't know something like well, that. Well, it, it was, and also some of the some of the classes and some of the exercises that we we did there, and some of the perform all of the performances. It yeah. was a ride. It was a trip to see, you know, and and also the, that sense of camaraderie yes and also your ego kind of gets into the way i'm like going hmm, i can do that, I can do that. <laughs> or like oh, i wonder if they're judging me right now oh my and the God. answer is yeah they are <laughs> yeah yeah that's so interesting it, you felt like that because i always saw you and i said oh my god he did you're, you're just so you know i was always like <laughs> i felt that way inside i think really? everybody probably well not everybody but a lot of people uh, felt that way inside I honestly, I felt, you know, I, you, I really didn't know you my first year there, uh, but I, for someone who just came from, uh, you know, USF in a in a different major, and just have my friend of mine just said, hey, there's auditions for 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 Evita, you know, and we're gonna go in there next semester so why don't you audition so you and had a different major i had yes i had a different major i was um i majored in mass media at oh. usf only uh, only because i figured all right uh i wanted to be a recording engineer oh and i was going through all of that with math and i'm not going oh my god what the hell am i doing and then i realized Oh, I don't want to be the one behind the recording booth. I want to be the one in the front right. on the mic. And so that's where I just said, oh, my God, my, my parents are going to kill me <laughs> about this. Oh. Because, you know, I mean, it was the closest. I had to really sell that recording engineer thing, <laughs> you know. And then ha having to just say back and I said, listen, Ma, you always told me that I, I could sing and that I'm very talented. So why I would love to, I would love to do this, you know, right. and I did have pushback with that one. And she also said, you know, you, if you really, really want this, you need to, ha you have to put in as far as for paying for tuition. And uh -huh. so, yeah, 
And that's where, again, was kind of like my test of, is this what I want to do? Yeah. Is this, you know? Well, I have to and, say, I mean, thank God that you did go that way because we were all blessed <laughs> with how you, uh, again, you got out there, you went to New York and we didn't even mention the play before, but Miss Saigon. I mean, what was yeah. that? It, so it took you three, I'm going back to what you said before, uh, it took you three years and yeah. then, like, they call you up and then, how did well, that okay. Okay, you want me to go, you want me to tell tell you the whole process? Uh, uh, okay, 